What is today? I don't even know what today is. Thursday. Parking lot's full because we're starting at a nice leisure start uh, back at Belford Oxford Trailhead. Well, Missouri, I guess. Because today we're going to try to take Missouri because it's the one I missed. And if we feel really spry and the weather window holds, we'll go up Mount Huron as well, do a connector, uh, which could be pretty long because we'll have to come back through Winfield, which is the turnaround point for the Leadville 100. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how we feel, see how the weather is, and uh, head out here. So, see you as we go up Missouri, which is a 14,000 foot peak. Oh, oh. Ooh, I almost fell there. Alright, it's so coming into the valley, Missouri Gulch, I believe. Why oh, they didn't name this mountain after a Ivy League school. They could have called it Cornell or something. We've got Princeton, Harvard, Yale, Columbia. Missouri, end up that way. Uh, let's get to the split here. It's all about altitude, back, getting up high again. I am a bit tired, legs are a bit stiff. They're gonna be beat up from Speed Goat for a good week and a half. So I gotta take it kinda easy, nothing too intense, no grueling sessions. But then I gotta turn and burn on the Pikes Peak course, getting some more high intensity, cause that's a fast runnable race. And uh, right now it's having fun, getting up high, getting this altitude exposure and doing these 14,000 foot mountains and enjoying the summer here in Colorado. So see at the split here. Yeah, it's just labeled as Elkhead Pass. Well, I'm going up Missouri this way. Look at these flowers. Beautiful trail. Missouri or Elkhead Pass. I came down from that last time from uh, Belford. Going up Missouri here. Switchbacks. Should be good. Clouds are holding up a bit. But yeah, like I said, with the residual fatigue, uh, you gotta be careful because you're gonna have that residual fatigue after racing hard, like speed gut. Then I also have to keep in mind, you know. Bar Trail is a lot more runnable, it's a lot faster, it's a more runnable race. You know, it's the difference between a marathon and a 50k, but hopefully I'm going to be two hours faster at Pikes Peak in terms of racing duration compared to speed goats. So, much faster paced race, but have to be high altitude trained, so that's why we're getting up high and enjoying this. Steep ridgeline traverse here. View of the valley it came up. Ooh, a bit rocky. It's power hiking practice. All right, so came out this epic ridge line. See uh, the valley, other side of the valley here. Mount Huron. Uh, another 14 over there. La Plata, is it? One final push for the summit. A little cold nippy up here. I put a jacket on. Beautiful view. Look at that beautiful view. Headed towards Huron. You can see Huron spot over there. I'm gonna ride this ridge line, it's pretty steep. So I don't know what we're getting into here. 
Could be pretty gnar. Beautiful flowers. Beautiful flower. And the hook and the Ridge runner. We're gonna descend down this uh, scree field. I think that is here on up over there. Um, I feel like I'm doing Nolan's 14 or something. It's an official trail. We're not off trail here, but it feels like you're off trail and it feels like you're skiing down this stuff. I mean, it's crazy. It's like, uh, like loose rocks and lots of stuff going on here. I don't want to kick a rock down on Sandy, so I'm gonna take it slow here. Rocks will tumble down this. Gotta be careful. Beautiful day, a little cloudy though. I'm gonna watch that cloud, cloud club cover. Cloud club, cloud, cloud, cloud club, cloud, cloud cover. It's kind of a tongue twister. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. How many pickled peppers did Peter Piper pick? She sells seashells down by the seashore. She sells seashells down by the seashore. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. plant flower look at these bees busy bees you guys are busy bees you're doing your thing amazing plant look at this plant giant flower out here in the scree field at altitude shows how resilient these plants are shows how we need to be resilient like my bar trail talk with the gnarly trees the test of character of a individual is when you have to face adversity I've been lucky to not have to face any real major serious adversity in my life so far. And I don't take that for granted. People uh, struggle with life and death situations, poverty, hunger, abuse, uh, you know, health issues, really serious health issues. For me to fall on a trail during UTMB and get a couple stitches and not finish, I mean, boohoo. In the grand scheme of life, that's like, uh, yeah, you know, it was a setback. Of course, I'm disappointed. Running is my career, but like, you gotta always frame things, put things in perspective. People deal with a lot of tough shit. Yeah, that's kind of the gist of it. And you know, running is a microcosm for life, especially distance running. You go through your ups and downs. There's pain. It hurts physically, emotionally, you mentally. You struggle, but you just try to persevere as best you can and toughen up. And uh, you know, some things in life, when you're dealt a real bad hand, obviously that's uh, people react differently and there's different severity of serious things in life and so you know I always say you know we choose to do this sport we choose to run we choose to push our limits as a fun hobby as a luxury and it's a luxury to run on beautiful trails and get to travel especially me doing dream races and, and being able to do international travel it's a total privilege and luxury I don't take it for granted one day because I know I could get in a car accident tomorrow or fall in a get a current energy in injury any day and that would be it so you know be thankful for the times you have and frame it put things in perspective try to help others as you go out through life it's not just about running it's not just about the sport or your hobbies uh it's just about going through life trying to leave the world a hopefully better place and having that positive impact on other people higher injury risk today yeah, I, got I don't see the trail, babe. I think we're lost. Another adventure. Nolan's 14 line, I think, we're doing, right? Is that what, is that what they call it these days? All right, so I've, I've been coming down that scree chute over there. We finally found a trail that came down from the Missouri Ridge Line. Although much farther north than we thought it did, so. Now we're doing the trail, going down. We'll see where we end up. All right, lost a lot of elevation back in trees. Look at this cool mountain lake coming down to it's nice to be back on trail beautiful trail back here I'm trying to find uh, where to go up here on I think uh, over there maybe it's over there directions are not my strong suit even though we have a map oh I see a trail might be a deer trail though I don't know go trail 
That algae looks pretty gross, actually. Take that back. Sweet. Just uh, like the trail. <laughs> All right, so we got lost for like 45 minutes. Really hard to find trail here. Extremely faint. Some like deer trails. I think we're hiking up towards here on. We'll see if we make it. So we're off trail. Are hiking up again. Kind of lost. Running low in water. Ooh. Fun times. You're a giant mountain cricket. Look at you. Woo. Hoppity hop hop hop. We're lost. Is that here on? I don't know. We're off trail. Maybe this is like doing the Nolan's 14 line. Beeline it up the mountain. I wish we weren't lost. Out of water. Gotta pull some from streams if we could find some. Thirsty. Alright. Right in the ridge line. Right in the ridge line still. In scree. It's good. You got good views on both sides. You gotta go up there or there. Here on Looks a little bit gnarly. Might have to do some climbing. Forgot my climbing hat for rock fall and a rope. Uh, might have to pull out some class four moves here, huh? Got a little bit of exposure on the right. It's not pretty off to the left, but it's not a cliff. I guess it's not too bad. Oh, I wonder if we could, if we had to turn around, if we could come off this and beeline it to that meadow trail, that would be pretty bad. All right, let's climb. Is there exposure on the left too? A little exposure on that slab back there. Off to the left, I didn't like it. Probably be able to fall and have these rocks catch my body right away. Instead of tumble hundreds of feet to my death. <sighs> Sandy's not as afraid of exposure as I am. Whew. Clipped out. Nope. 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 It's pretty nasty off to the right. There's some cliffs. Off to the left, might be doable. Oh, I like this avalanche chute, it's better. The question is if we could traverse this ridge line in the, we could go on that side there. That's the real question. So we gotta traverse this. Sandy's going ahead. Careful, babe. My ass is making me kinda nervous. All right, so Sandy, we just down climbed this. It's pretty dicey, actually. It's steeper than it looks. Huh, babe? Uh, this is a bad adventure. Got close to both sides. I'm gonna try to make it through that hole there. Cut around the back side, because I, I don't like the looks of this bad boy. Not good. No good. No good. You gotta see this. <laughs> this ridge line we did. No, <laughs> we did that, we down climbed that. We came across the spike there. We were cliffed out, it was loose rock, it was bad. That was a bad traverse. Now yet, go over, not gonna summit here on, too thirsty and tired. Gonna hit here on trail though. Get back to camp. All right, babe. Seven hours, over seven hours in, been out of water for the last two hours. That dicey traverse, we hated it. So thirsty, looking for Huron's trail. Finally found Mount Huron and his trail. If you book that on the way down to Winfield, run back four miles on the, the road back to the campsite. Gotta get some fresh water here though. Look at this gold mine snow field. Got a snow field. Get some fresh water. I'm so thirsty. Oh, I'm so thirsty. Hey, water. Best uh, ice cold, huh, babe? Yeah. Fresh water. 
Nice. Yeah, so we filled up on some water. Get ready to head out. That was a crazy run, crazy adventure. Oh, it was an adventure, this one. Got lost. Oh, man. Seven hours, we'll be eight, eight, nine hours out. I'm gonna collapse at the campsite. Thanks for following along. Be sure to subscribe. Uh, check out, we're gonna do more informative training talks as well as, uh, yeah, Pike Speak Marathon training. Uh, hope I don't get Giardia from this water. Yeah, well, uh, thanks for subscribing on here. Check out our training plan, staytraining.com. Uh, thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate all your support. And uh, hope your running's going well. Stay tuned for more. Yeah.